So, now we got rid of Andrew. Thank goodness. <laughs> Just kidding, Andrew. Um, and we have the women from the art cave and Sarah Rose. Sarah, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good. Good. Thank so, you. Th is this like our fourth time being on the radio together? Or something like that? Oh, man. I don't know. We did it in the early days, again, yeah. when you were like 13 years old. No, did man. We did that joke already. <laughs> no. <laughs> you were, no, I think you were 16, 17, 18. Yeah. Now you're, you know, 7, no, 42, right? I, mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, 20, <laughs> or 23. So Sarah is a local musician. Um, I, I met her, I think it was three, oh no, sorry, five years ago, and I just was really I impressed by her voice. Yeah, and I still I don't, don't know. know. It was a while back, but I you know, fell in love with her voice. I think she's an amazing musician, so we're going to be able to hear um, a, maybe four songs if we, get, if we get in there in this hour, so look forward to that. And we're going to learn a little bit about you know, why is she a musician, you know, how does she support herself, the struggle that we talked about earlier. Oh, um, yeah. We're going to talk about the struggle. But let's, let's start the struggle off with the art cave. So introduce yourselves again, <laughs> both of you. I'm Dana. <laughs> well, Dana Leaders. Leaders. Uh, my name is Leah Erickson. Leah Erickson. Okay, Leah Erickson. Wait, Leah? Just ah. Lee. Lee. It's I, I a common said, misconception. Yeah, I'm it's sorry. Okay. Why do you say that? Yeah. Okay, so, and it one. seems like you guys are sharing a microphone. You know, we share everything. Okay, <laughs> long, as you're, long as you're close. I guess if you do share things, you would be close. Real. Um, so, give me, like, the the very genesis of the art cave. Like, how did this come about? We wanted to make art. <laughs> She's actually, Lee was my mom's neighbor. And my mom matched <laughs> me to us. Oh, well, that's the beginning. Yeah. She's like, you need friends. And she introduced me <laughs> to Lee. Too. <laughs> Wait, is that when you guys were like teenagers or something? No, no. four years ago. Yeah, a couple yeah. ago. Okay. So you didn't have friends four years ago? Nope. Not. We were both Same new one. to town. Yeah. Were, were you guys, were you married then? No. What? Okay, so <laughs> not married, no friends, living with your mom. How old do we look? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're married now, though. No. Nope. Not really? Okay, I'm engaged. Yeah, engaged. That's what it was. Okay. You're stuck. You're what are you doing? I'm Is that your dad? <laughs> no, I'm Just married as well. No. You have partners. I know that. Like, I've seen yes. you with, with. Yes. If you look at your like, you know, saw the shout Yeah, I've seen your Facebook. Twenty minute long thank you. Speech. Yeah, I saw your speech. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, I guess we should mention that uh, the arcade was um, nominated and won um, the next year's wild card oh, award. Yeah. So these are wild people. <laughs> the wild ones. Yeah. Watch out. Okay, so your mom introduces you because you have <laughs> yeah. friends. Yeah. And, and then we're like, we need to make art because we yeah. didn't have a space to do that. So we got a studio together. Right. Because you were like, I was like, oh, well, basically Dana's mom was like, oh, that's cool. You're an artist. My daughter's an artist too. And I was like, no way, awesome. And then we <laughs> met each other. It was Match Made in Heaven. And we're like, oh my God, you're an artist too. And then, uh, yeah, long story short, uh, a studio, an art studio opportunity presented itself and I could only afford it if I shared it with someone obviously. So basically and you're Dana using was, Dana. Yeah. 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 You know, <laughs> okay. For Dana. all my money. So, so yeah. <laughs> Exactly. So how long ago was the art um, arcade? Like when did you actually open? Mm, Officially as like a business and a gallery. Like, I guess, yeah, when you opened like, the doors and people came in. Like oh, last year. Yeah, Lovebirds, February. Lovebirds. Oh. February. Yeah. yeah, was our first kind of gr official group show. Um, it was mostly friends, but yeah, great it was artists. It was, people we knew. It was fun. We kind of just started experimenting. So long story short, we so we were sharing a studio space, um, our little artwork space, and then we acquired like a wall, and then this wall, wall, the best, the Free greatest wall, wall ever, the best wall. Um, actually, it sucked. But at, at the Wrigley Building. Yes. Okay. Our little tiny studio across from the Art Blitzer Gallery. If anyone is familiar. Good association. <laughs> That's like literally, we fed off of their uh, crowd for quite a while. <laughs> Thanks, Blitzer. Sorry, Robert. <laughs> You're the best. And yeah, so we got this little wall, so it basically enabled us to separate our art studio space with like a front little mini gallery space, and we kind of just rolled with it, because we just had like all these big dreams, we were just like, how can we like maybe make money too, like, I don't know, off of other things other than just our art, which... You know, we weren't making a ton of money with just our art. So anyways, we started out, yeah, little group shows here and there. And then, honestly, it just kind of, like, caught fire, like, over time and just, like, snowballed into something bigger and bigger and bigger. And, I don't know, Dana, if you want to chime in, obviously. Well, it's pretty much, like, every month it. you guys have, like, multiple events. Yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> we're tired. Which, I was going to talk to you about that. We'll talk about after. I'm taking you to slow down. You know it. Um, okay. <laughs> you need to con uh, congeal, consolidate. No, no, but that's that's good. You, you know, you're getting different 
kind of events, you're getting different groups of people. Like this is the time you really put yourself out there. So I think you guys are doing a great job at that. Um, so you have, and we're talking about a couple events, but the one event that I've been helping you with is, like I feel it's, you've only been, it's kind of a short time that you've been in existence, but you're already creating the uh, Expo, no, what is it called? Art Expo Santa Cruz. Art Expo Santa Cruz. So this is like the big one. What yeah. is that event about? Um, it is bringing together uh, artists from all over the region. So um, we really uh, love how close-knit the Santa Cruz art community is. But we really want to, I feel like most art collectors in Santa Cruz know all the Santa Cruz artists. So we're really trying to... Uh, um, uh, branch together new audiences with new artists. So we're bringing in artists and galleries from San Jose, uh, San Francisco, um, Monterey, um, and still here, awesome and, and yeah. Santa Cruz. Yeah. And so we're trying to kind of mix and connect all of these artists and art goers so that we can all meet new people and, and so that help is everyone. May 18th. Yes. Saturday at the old Wrigley building, yeah. that we're calling it? Yep, it's uh, on the west side, and that's where our gallery, the Art Cave, is located as well. So, are you currently looking for submissions for artists? Yes, we are. They can visit our website, www.theartcavesc. <laughs> Don't forget the SC. <laughs> Someone out there owns artcave.com. Um, <laughs> we're working on it. You are, if you want to like, sell it to us, well, I guess the guy already tried <laughs> Do, do anyway. we have to put HTT? No, um, no, no. it should be, yeah. www.thearchivesc.com forward slash art expo? Yeah. Or just go to the website. It's not too much. So, so but, yeah, if you want to be an artist, but there are submissions to go for that. Um, and if you also just want to go and see some amazing art, um, but you can go and find out more information about the event. Um, I'm going to pause with you two for a second because there's um, I have two other events you, you're doing really soon. They're really cool. But I'll go back to Sarah. So Sarah, how long have you been playing mu music? Um, well, let's see. <clears throat> I mean, I think early, I've seen like early pictures of you on Instagram with a guitar. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, I, well, I, I, I got serious about music when I was um, about 14, I got a piano, um, it was a keyboard, and then, um, I think when I was like eight, I got a guitar, and, but I've been writing songs since I was like five. Wow. And singing. Do you um, still know one of those songs when you're five years old, like still remember it? <clears throat> I, I have um, one when I was eight, I could sing it for you. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. So me and, oh God, me and uh, my friend, Daniel, I forgot his last name. Um, we were in a band called Hypnotic Eye when we were eight years That's old, sick. and really you know cool. it was the what was it? You know it was like just eighty one or something. So we had a Casio cool keyboard that was like the size. I wish I can show you like you know the size of a ruler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, it was "Don't Fall" was the name of the song, and it was really intricate because it said like "Don't fall, don't fall, because you're gonna go to a big ball, so don't fall." That was it. I still what, remember that. What's the big ball? I don't know. It's a ball. Like, it was the 80s. Like, wow. Ball is like, I don't know. When you oh, watch like 16 Candles, like the ball, like the big like party. Uh, oh, the I see. Ball. A ball, like, yeah. I don't know. We're eight years old. But oh, it rhymed. Okay. And that's all we had at the song. And I don't know that's why incredible. I put that on air. <laughs> I think that's a new hit. I'm new album dropping. dropping. Could, could you re record? Yeah. Could you? Yep. Sing that no. I'm planning um, on it now. Okay, actually, let's let's hear a song, um, <laughs> okay. just because I want to, the audience to get that out of their head. So um, you know, yeah. <laughs> so what song, song can you sing? Have those lyrics in it. Oh my god! If you can, I'll pay if you can throw it in somewhere. No, okay. No. <laughs> Someone's gonna pay me for my music. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't worry, girl. <laughs> so cool. what song are you gonna sing for us? Um, this next song is a song that I just wrote. It's called "For You." Like you, you. You, like, no, but you just wrote it, like, just in the uh, last like month or mm -hmm. so? Yeah, I wrote it like um, a week ago. Okay, mm -hmm. great. So uh, it's not released anywhere, but you can only no. hear it on here and like no. Instagram? Um, yep, just the, here. That, okay, I think, <laughs> actually I forgot, I was listening to you on Instagram Live, I have a question about that from yesterday. Okay. Um, okay, so sing it, play that song for okay. us. Okay. <clears throat> can you hear the guitar? Yep, yeah. it's perfect.
just roll your windows down And you can stay with me alone Just roll your windows down And you can stay with me alone oh. <clears throat> I'll stay silent for this ride You keep quiet cause it's your ride I'll face my cries Just let the smoke roll out Just let the wind drown out All this noise can't stay QD Santa Cruz 90.7. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. What was the name of that song? It's called For You. So this could be like an exclusive KSQD song? Yeah. Awesome. This is like a moment here. Thank you. I love that. That's, so I'm going to ask Dana and Lee, but what music, musical like artist do you like think of when you, when you heard her voice? This is the first time you heard her voice. Can you oh, think of somebody? Oh, man. And you have to talk in the microphone. Yeah, who do you, any, any ideas come to mind? Um, well, not really the genre, but the quality of her voice, Nico Case, I really like her. And I saw her live, and uh, it was like outdoors on a very windy day, and her voice just kind of like soared over it all, and I don't Someone's know, so I was kind of thinking of that. Yeah, how about Fiona Apple? Oh, oh yeah. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> was so Gallery hours are Wednesday through Friday, 2 to 6 p.m., and I know we already mentioned it, but yeah, we're over in the old Wrigley building. Right across from Idea Fat Labs, mm -hmm. which is where our current artist, he had a residency there, so he made all of his art using laser cutters and LED lights, so it's a really, really interesting, unique. So I want to talk about that. Let, let's, let's pause a little bit. Let's go back to that. I want to hear another song from Sarah. So I know it's pretty on the spot here. Um, can you sing a song for I'm us? I'm here to play music? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
not just talk. I, okay. I wait, hold on, hold on. So like, if you okay. thought of how many, I just thought of it. Um, well, two things. For one, on Instagram yesterday, you did an Instagram live, uh -huh. and you said you like got rid of Instagram for a week. Oh, yeah. Why? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Is it too personal? It's a, it, well. It, I don't need to get into it too much. However, I will say that um, it was just impulsive, and I. W um, it was funny because I was like, um, it was something stupid, and I was like, I, you know, I just don't want to deal with it. And um, and they didn't let you back. I, no. So this is the deal, dude. <laughs> when you <laughs> when you temporarily deactivate your Instagram, you don't get to just go back the next day and be like, yo, I, I'm I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I want to come back. They're like, not. Nah, you, you gotta wait seven days. <laughs> you can come you gotta back. really like, think about this. One. So that so impulsive move was not, yeah. So I was like, all right, <laughs> I can do that. Really it's that? fine. Mm -hmm. It was fine. I didn't. I honestly, I'm not on Instagram enough for it to be like, I, you yeah. know, what. It, it really went by quite quickly, and then I was like, oh, it's already been seven days. I'm back on Instagram, so. <laughs> There's that. Okay, so don't worry, you know, <laughs> audience. You can still see Sarah Rose on Instagram. Don't worry, I'm yeah. back. Okay, let, let's hear a song. Tell us what the song is and, and play if you enjoy, would like to. Okay. Um, I'm going to play it first and then I'll tell you the name. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Keep I waiting. I forgot.
go Don't have for me Under a full moon's glow I feel in my veins So when you see me go Don't have for me When you see me go Oh, when you see me That was Sarah Rose. What was the name of that song, Sarah? Um, I want you to stay. 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 <laughs> so, how, uh, if you can pick the microphone up a little bit now. Um, so, can you tell me a little bit about that song? Um, what about it? I don't know. When do you write it? Quite, is, it is there like a big meaning to Sorry. it? Sorry. Um, <clears throat> man, when did I write that song? Um, I think I wrote this song about six months ago. <clears throat> And, um, um, it's, well, it's sort of about, it can, I don't, I don't want to ruin the meaning for anyone because it can mean okay. a lot of I know a lot of musicians things. like that because a lot of times, it, like, everybody has their own feeling about what it means to them. Right. So, yeah. And it can mean a lot of different things. Yeah. I mean, you know, going away can mean many many things. things yeah okay so what's the if someone wants to find out about more about you more about Sarah Rose wants to hear more of your music where do they go on the interwebs interwebs <laughs> interwebs interwebs yes um well okay so first of all you can find me on Facebook um Sarah Rose uh Sarah with an H Rose like the flower you can find me on Instagram um and you can find my band on, oh, you can find me on YouTube. You can find me anywhere. Just okay. look up Sarah Rose. Sarah Rose. Santa Cruz would probably help. Yeah. Since there are probably, there are other Sarah Roses in the world. But if you look up Nova Rose, which is one word, N-O-V-A-R-O-S-E, there's only one Nova Rose. Okay, cool. So <laughs> find that. Okay, so we're going to play one more song now, right now, but in a couple minutes to, to run us through the end of the hour. Um, the Art Cave, where do we find out more information about you? www.theartcavesc.com. <laughs> SC for Santa Cruz. <laughs> and you have at least 20 events coming on this month. So four. Yeah, four yeah, 20, more. yeah. It feels like 20 <laughs> sometimes. Nice. So but we, again, but you have... Um, oh, we have a concert coming up too. We didn't even mention that. Microphone? Okay. <laughs> we have a concert as well. And when is that? That is... Oh, May, what is it? It's May 24th. I think I remember May 24th. In May 24th, yeah. yeah. The Suborbitals. From okay. Monday. Yeah, they're coming up real soon-ish. Cool, okay, so go to the Archives website, learn more information about them. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you, Sarah, for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Oh, no, I always liked it. It's nice to have a very retro, it like we haven't been on the radio for a while. Play us a song. But okay. to end end the end the hour. Okay, I have a question first. Okay. Should uh -huh. I play? <laughs> I'm wondering. Should I play a song that I play with my band, or should I play another another solo song? I'm gonna leave it up to Dana and Lee. 
I want to hear something from the band. I want to hear the band too. Yeah, okay. okay. Just imagine what the rest of the band sounds like. Sorry, Rory's not here. <laughs> what other instruments yeah. are in the band? Yeah. Um, it's a full band. Full band. So it's it's drums, bass, um, guitar, piano. Nice. Wow. Do you guys have any shows coming up soon? Well, we gotta come check you out. Not as of now. We just want to have it at the arcade. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We do concerts too. <laughs> you know, we do. <laughs> Awesome. You gotta tell it, we got your place. Okay, in the next two and a half minutes of <laughs> music. <laughs>